It will go down in history as one of the 20th century's worst security breaches, when a then 32-year-old Michael Fagan broke into Buckingham Palace, not once, but twice, and came within metres of the Queen. This scene is shown in Netflix's The Crown in season four, where Her Majesty finds herself rudely awoken by an intruder and has to wait for her security to intervene. In 1982, Michael Fagan had his encounter with Queen Elizabeth. A month earlier, he'd managed to break into the palace and spend, by his account, a good few hours looking around the place before he was disturbed by a maid. Fagan at that time made a swift exit. But on his second break-in, he was in no hurry to leave. After all, he had a private audience with Her Majesty. At around 7 a.m. on the 9th of July in 1982, Fagan scaled Buckingham Palace's 14-foot high wall, which was topped with spikes and barbed wire. He then climbed up a drain pipe before wandering into the Queen's bedroom 15 minutes later. An alarm sensor had detected his movements inside the palace, but police thought the alarm was faulty and silenced it. Fagan wandered the palace corridors for several minutes before reaching the section where the royal apartments were located. The Queen woke when Fagan disturbed a curtain. Initial reports said he had sat on the edge of her bed. A duty footman walking the Queen's corgis finally appeared, followed by two policemen, who at last removed Fagan. However, by other accounts, it was said that the Queen managed to leave the room immediately to get her security. Michael Fagan's own memory was a lot less clear. I don't know if I went into the Queen's bedroom. I don't really know. You know, um, I went into a room, you know. I remember seeing a lady. I can't really say that even if it was the Queen. Mr Fagan, do you think after your treatment in Park Lane Hospital now that your state of mind is such that you would not do that again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 100% recovered, you know, I've got my children, I'm quite happy. But his own mother shed some light on the reason behind his break-in at the palace. Did he explain to you why he went to the palace like that? Uh, well, he said he'd gone there to prove a point. What, what do you think he meant by that? Uh, I think he meant that he went there to do it just to let people know that it could be done. Since at the time it was a civil wrong rather than a criminal offence, Fagan was not charged for trespassing in the Queen's bedroom. He was charged, however, with theft, but the charges were dropped when he was committed for psychiatric evaluation. He spent the next three months in a psychiatric hospital before being released on the 21st of January 1983.